Good evening viewers, you're watching Naho News Weekly, presenting this week's news to you. It's me, Gifty McConnell. Please stay tuned. Moving on to our first news. On this year's Africa Day, we reaffirm our commitment to the vision of regional unity, said Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. We are committed to realizing the vision of a peaceful and united and prosperous Africa, the Prime Minister tweeted on the occasion. Africa Day is celebrated every year on the 25th of European calendar, which began on the occasion of founding of the Organization of African Unity, or OAU. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed paid a two-day official visit to Nigeria on Wednesday, accompanied by First Ladies in Nashta Yacho and a high-level delegation. The Ministry of Mines, Takkala Uma, said it has earned over 458 million US dollars in the first nine months of the current budget year. This was stated during the ninth regular session of the sixth round of the first year of House of People's Representatives. Engineer Takkala Uma, while presenting his nine month plan to the council, said the country has earned 458 million US dollars from the mining sector. Asked about the shortage of construction materials and inflation from councillors, he said cement factories, although they have the same technology, have different production capacity due to differences in the hands that move the machine. As a result, TVT centers will be built in Holeta to produce skilled professionals for the sector. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees has announced that more than 6,750 Ethiopian refugees will be repatriated to Ethiopia from war-torn Yemen. The agency called on the international community to provide $7.5 million for the repatriation of Ethiopians, Africa News reported. The International Organization for Migration says it has repatriated more than 600 refugees, including 60 children, in three years' flights this year. The International Organization for Migration, Special Representative for Yemen, Christopher Roth Sr., has said that the influx of refugees from Yemen to Saudi Arabia is exacerbating the humanitarian situation in the country. He says the civil war in Yemen has not used the country as a transit point for refugees seeking refugee in neighboring Saudi Arabia. The International Organization for Migration estimates that 27,700 refugees fled from the Horn of Africa to Yemen last year. Yemen has been embroiled in a civil war since 2014. The involvement of the Saudi-led Arab League in the war has made the war even more complicated. Ethiopian Institute of Public Health says early warning measures are being taken to prevent the spread of monkeypox in Ethiopia. Zaudwa Safa, Director of Early Warning and Information Systems Management at the Institute, said Ethiopia is making preparations to reduce the risk of the disease. In particular, he said public awareness campaigns have been launched to prevent the disease from spreading. He said efforts are being made to sensitize travelers and stakeholders to take proper precautions when traveling to different countries. Awareness raising activities are also being carried out for transport service providers and users and medical professionals to control the virus easily. At the same time, surveys are being carried out to ensure proper precautionary measures on the country's borders with other countries. People with monkeypox can develop fever, headache, back pain, muscle aches, occasional swelling and a loss of appetite, he said. Evidence suggests that the disease will go away on its own and take 14 to 21 days. The institute advised the public to report the symptoms to the nearest health facility as well as toll-free number 8335. Indian investors express interest in investing in Ethiopia. Investment Commissioner Lalise Name and Deputy Commissioner Daniel Teresa held talks with investors from India as well as representatives of the Indian Economic and Trade Institutes. The investors expressed interest in investing in Ethiopia's mining, manufacturing, agro-processing, ICT, and education sectors. The delegation was invited to focus on the Ethiopian government's investment attraction plan and expressed interest in engaging in various sectors in Ethiopia. Investors also visited the Bulbula, Bolelami and Kelinto industrial parks, according to the Investment Commission. 
Ethiopians living in southern France have provided support to displaced people in Ethiopia, as well as to the war-torn Kombolcha General Hospital. The aid was distributed in the form of food, medicine and clothing to 1,000 displaced people in Debra Brahan town. The Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia's embassy in Paris thanked members of Ethiopian community in southern France for their support. They also donated more than 20,000 euros raised by the Rome City Youth and Milan Community Association of Milan to the Ethiopian embassy in Italy to help those displaced by the conflict in Ethiopia. According to the information received from the embassy, the support was distributed by the Ministry of Health the embassy also called on Ethiopians to continue their support. The Ministry of Justice says it has identified the TPLF as the mastermind behind the recent clashes in various parts of Ethiopia. Injuries, property damage and displacement also resulted in the loss of many lives as a result of the conflict. The Ministry of Justice stated that it is working to bring those involved in these crimes to justice and bring justice to the victims. The Ministry of State for Justice, Fukadu Zagga, said the investigation into the cause of clashes in various parts of the country and the persecution of the culprits had revealed that the TPLF was involved. He said the TPLF was involved in supporting the conflict with weapons and budgets, as well as providing information. The State Minister said the Ministry of Justice has been able to investigate the crimes committed in Tepi, Burrao and Addis Ababa, Asosa and other areas since the day after the change. He said those involved in the clashes in Gedio and Guji as well as in Awasa had been brought to justice. The 22nd Conference of the International Muslim Ethiopians Association, founded by Ethiopians living in the United States 22 years ago, will be held in Addis Ababa. The Badr Back to the Root program is a way for Ethiopians born in Europe and the United States to learn about their country and get to know Ethiopia. It also mentioned that it has an active participation in the national affairs of the web, which has about 5,000 members. It's also involved in food sharing and development associations. The 22nd conference in Addis Ababa is expected to not only stimulate the conference tourism, but also generate foreign exchange. The program will feature research papers and identity forums, as well as tourist destinations. It is also stated that the loan conference, which has so far registered about more than 1,500 people, will be held from July 8th to July 18th, 2014. This was the end of our Nahu News Weekly. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned with the remaining programs from Nahu Television. It was me, Gifty McConnell, presenting the news to you. Have a good time.